Welcome to Mayo Clinic Laboratories. Here we test HIV in the Hepatitis HIV Serology Laboratory and also over in the Virology Laboratory. It is recommended that everyone get tested for HIV between the ages of 13 and 64 at least once in their lives as part of their routine health care. In serology, our screening test looks for both antigen and antibody in your blood sample and takes approximately 37 minutes or less to complete testing. If your sample is negative, your result will be uploaded to your provider and testing is considered complete. If your sample is reactive, hey Shelly, what does reactive mean? Reactive means that our instrument has detected either antigen or antibody in your sample and we'll need to do further confirmation testing to determine which one is present. This is a hands-on test that takes approximately 30 minutes from start to finish. Here's an example of kit controls for the day. As you can see on this strip, this is the positive control and there are lots of bands present. The negative control only has the control band present. From here, the sample will head over to the virology lab where Courtney and Tracy will take over testing. Here in the virology laboratory, we perform NAT or nucleic acid testing to confirm serology's results. In order to be sure that a patient has HIV, we use PCR technology that seeks out the specific genetic material or RNA of the virus itself. PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. This is used to determine viral load detection. So it'll see if a patient has HIV and exactly how much is present. When a patient submits a blood sample, it is spun down to plasma. The plasma is then placed on the machine, which is taken out of a tube and placed into a plate. The plate has wells inside of it, and each well represents a different patient specimen. The patient's plasma goes through a different series of chemical washes to remove any unnecessary parts. From there, we use magnetic beads to seek out and grab the remaining genetic or RNA material. So once the HIV genetic material or RNA is isolated, it's actually placed into a a plate just like this, and which is sealed, and then it's placed into our thermocycler. This is where the magic of science happens. So it takes about 35 to 40 cycles of heating and cooling to create billions of copies of HIV RNA virus. Now that PCR testing is complete, we can tell from these reports that patient A has an undetected load of virus, which means the, the, the level of HIV is either absent or too low to be read by the instrument software. As we can see here, patient B has a detected level. This right here is the exact amount of HIV virus that is inside this patient sample. This result will be then given to patient B's medical provider so that the medical provider can start antiretroviral treatment. Well, what if treatment doesn't work? Well, then the next step would be to do genetic sequencing on patient B's sample. Genetic sequencing looks closely at the patient's HIV RNA, determining where the mutations have occurred. Once the mutations are found, the results are placed into a database, and this shows the provider how to adjust their treatment for a patient living with HIV to live a healthier life. It's important to get tested for HIV as soon as possible. As Shelly mentioned earlier, ages 13 through 64 are recommended to get tested for HIV at least once in your lifetime. Both serology and virology are essential in testing and monitoring HIV so that medical providers can prescribe the best possible treatment. If HIV is not treated, it will progress to AIDS, also known as Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Thank you for visiting the Virology Laboratory and the Hepatitis HIV Serology Laboratory. Bye! Bye.